knows when I'm going to turn the camera on because I turned the radio off. Right. And he sort of grunts about it. Anyway, it's Sunday morning, 10.26 a.m. December 13th. I think so. I think so, Sunday, yeah. Sunday. We're obviously in the car. We're headed out to go run our weekly errands. Costco, which is a big box discount store. Fred Meyer, our grocery, our grocery store. And we need to go to the post office. We haven't, and for those that don't know, every year we send out a lot of Christmas cards, like in excess of a hundred or more. And usually invariably we hit one or more dead people because we have forgotten or not known that somebody passed away in the year since we sent cards out last. It's always unintentional on our part, but we always get cards back, you know, saying that deceased or something. This year so far, knock fake wood, <laughs> um, we haven't gotten any back yet, but we've already gotten our first um, wrong address back. So I've got to take care of that this morning. Uh, that usually happens a lot too, where people have moved and I don't have their address. So. Well, they just don't tell us. Yeah, they, you know, don't tell everybody, so. Anyway, we've got to take care of that today, but cross your fingers, no dead people. I know it looks like good evening, but it's only 4.38 p.m. Bob just checked his watch. I know it's dark outside already. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. We are... So, as per usual lately, thank you COVID fatigue. It's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, I got a late start this morning, so much so that I had to take a quick five minute shower and ask the husband, are you on a call? And if you're not on a call, can you keep an ear out for the front door? Because I wanted to try to get a shower really quick before the pest control people came by for their annual spray which I forgot about this morning and I got, again, as I said, got a late start. So yeah, anyway, that was the start of my day. <laughs> but I got um, the vlog edited and it's loading right now. And I am setting up to film the My Creative Year tutorial for December. And then I need to go over to Mission Inspiration. I'm not sure I've done the December mission yet, so that might be something I have to do too. I don't necessarily have to film it, but I need to do it and post something about it. I also need to put more bottled water in the fridge because, yeah, always something, you know. Okay, so Kelly and Selena, we got your Christmas cards. Selena, oh my God, your bunny is so cute. Um. Let's see, we also got Christmas cards from... We've gotten a bunch back. Hold on. Hold on. Kathy Whitney, we got yours too, and yours is totally adorable. I love the little houses on there. And then we've got a bunch from friends and family, and evidently we've got one from our daughter. We've not even opened it. Well, yeah. I guess I should open it and look at it. Anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate your cards so much. And again, Selena, your little bunny is so cute. Bob hasn't read that um, note yet or seen the card, but I will make sure he does when he's done with work for the day. So, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. So it is after one o'clock on Tuesday, December 15th. I only know that because it's late in the day and I'm not sure exactly what time it is. But anyway, we had the live broadcast on my YouTube channel this morning for about an hour and a half every Tuesday, unless I announced I'm not going to or something's wrong. Drove by. Um, 
So anyway, we did that this morning. We did a December daily bonus page and some other stuff. Had a nice little arch. Had a flip through of one of my unfinished watercolor journals, the eyeball journal. And we talk, chatted about the one I've been working in, the lips journal, which I also showed. And I get the mail right now. And um, Etsy orders have already gone out. I'm going to grab the mail. And then I'm going to go upstairs and play some YouTube or soap operas or Star Trek or something while I'm doing some more painting. Uh, I have some more little skyscapes I want to do. And yeah, till day. I try to stay warm until we go walking. It is really cold today. guys Bob and I are out for an evening walk and there you go back there can you see that that's what we affectionately call the holiday house they are decorated like that for every single holiday 
It's pretty cool. cool. It's not, they don't have Christmas decorations for every single holiday, but they have decorations. No. <laughs> not Christmas, like for Thanksgiving, they have like a giant Tur turkey turkeys, and yes. they and the people knew what I meant. They're not stupid. Are you stupid? You're not stupid, are you? Okay, we're gonna go for a walk. We'll be back. Good morning, people. It is Jason. <laughs> Wednesday morning, December 16th, I think, 9.28 a.m. That I only know because the clock is right behind the phone. Um, obviously I'm in the car again. I'm going to go out and safely run some errands. I've got to check the P.O. box. We need a few things and we are doing some Christmas stuff this weekend. So we won't have time to run errands this weekend. So I'm going to do them today myself. I've kind of gotten used to over the last few months doing all the errands with Bob and not doing them by myself anymore. So that's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing I thought would never happen. So went through a bunch of paints, crafts paints mostly, and I am purging things that don't make me happy. And so I'll put a picture here. They're mostly um, craft paints, deco art, um, Americana, and other similar brands of craft paints. It's not that I don't like those brands. It's that they are shiny finish. And I really, really shiny finish is your enemy when you are journal unless you want to coat all your pages with wax or clear gesso or something when you're done and to be honest i've said repeatedly i'll say it again i'm the lazy crafter i'm not the frugal crafter that's Lindsay wyrick i'm the lazy crafter i don't want to be bothered having to finish uh, my pages with a coat of clear gesso or something like yeah i just can't be bothered unless it's absolutely like no other choice so i'm switching over to matte finish acrylics, uh, gouache acrylics, which are basically matte finish acrylics, a, a water-soluble gouache, matte finish water-soluble paints, and all those type of things. I did find a giant jar of black chalkboard paint, which I didn't even know I had, um, which is matte chalkboard paint as matte finish, so I'm going to keep that. Um, but yeah, a lot of it's got to go, so it's got to either go in a purge box or it's got to be used up. I'm not exactly sure right now, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I am just diddling on the computer. <laughs> I wrapped a, another gift that came today. I'm listening to some YouTube, and um, now that I've got my mess cleaned up and my plants all repotted, I was I was looking for one more herb plant 
for the dead one that was in the kitchen window to replace it with, but they just didn't have anything where I was going. It's probably kind of the wrong time of the year. Plus I didn't go to a proper nursery. My, my bad. So I'm going to go to, um, a proper nursery on Sunday, I think, with Bob and pick a couple things up. I'm also looking for a Christmas cactus, everybody. I think I it is Thursday morning, December 17th, 10.09 a.m. to be exact. I am, of course, upstairs, as you can see, um, in front of the computer checking on different things and fishing around. Anyway, I think today I am going to print out some stuff for the two Facebook art groups and have that ready sort of for my planners and drawing journals and stuff. And then I think we're gonna do some acrylic pouring. Um, I have some paint, I need to use it or lose it. Um, so I think, and I wanna practice to see if I can do sort of skyscape themed acrylic pours. I have a couple different ones I want to try. So I think I'm going to dig the acrylic pouring stuff out. And we're going to see about setting up a separate drying table. I have some thoughts on that because I won't be able to get the big giant pan on there without moving everything, which I don't want to do. I think I'm going to use that for the staging area for mixing the paint. So I think I'm going to do that. I may prop you guys up in a corner so you can kind of watch a little bit of what I'm doing and... Of course, I've decided to do this when I have a white t-shirt on, so I guess the first thing I better do is put on an apron, or I'm gonna have even more shirts with paint or God knows what on the front of them. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, all done with that. I've got these over here that are skyscape or sunset inspired pores. I like some better than others, but I'm happy with them overall. And they were, more than anything, they were fun to make. I may tip a few of them a little bit before I go downstairs. I might just leave them. They'll continue to change a little bit as they drip and dry. So we'll kind of just see what happens. I'm okay with that. Anyway, it's lunch. Okay, I literally moved the paint around with my fingers on these. And I love them now. So we are going to let them dry. They will continue to change um, a bit. Hopefully not too much. But if I lose some of the parts about them that I like, I will go out back with solid colors once they're completely dry in a few days. I'm going to touch up the corners or, and edges and then I need to wash my hands again.
I'll be back. I've got my paint, the paint off my hands. Let me show you the paintings. This Hang is on. them in their wet state. So they will continue to move a bit as they dry. Hopefully not too much. I was inspired to do these by all of my pictures and little gouache paintings I've been doing of skyscapes and sunsets. And I love the abstract nature of them and what they say. I'm going to take the torch to them one more time and then we're gonna leave them alone for a few days and let them dry. Good morning, people. It is Friday morning, 9.51 a.m., December 18th. No, you're not seeing things. I actually have a little eye makeup on. I know, right? Um, <laughs> it's the first time in literally in months. I can't remember the last time I even put mascara on. Much less wore a bra, but TMI, I know. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I put some makeup on this morning because... Um, sorry, my daughter's texting me. I'll answer her in a minute. Um, I'm going to be filming some intro um, videos for the two Facebook art groups that I have um, into what our projects are going to be for the coming year. So I thought, you know, it would be nice if I look semi-presentable. So there's that. So I'm going to try to get those filmed and um, scheduled out in two groups today. That's my goal, um, along with some sort of welcome post um, or beginning post for New Year's Day. It's a couple weeks before I really need to do it, but I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take care of all of it today, so I don't have to worry about it. So that's the main thing on the agenda. All right, I better answer the daughter before she gets worried. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Saturday, December 19th, and we are going to be doing Christmas early with our little bubble, basically the kids. And um, we're having an ugly Christmas sweater contest. What do you think? It not only has jingle bells, but there's uh, lights here. Let's see, where's one of the, oh, there we go. The lights don't like come on. They come on when they want. There's one right there. I don't know. It's supposed to come on with movement, but anyway, there's a light. Oh, there we go. So anyway, <laughs> what do you think? Do you think I'm gonna win? I actually kind of like my sweater, so but I think after Christmas I'll take the jingle bells off and I might try to get the lights out. Um, I'll get more wear out of it then. My husband says I should leave the bells on, then he can find me at the store. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna be doing that. We're making homemade pasta. The, ga the kids want to, the girl, both girls want to learn how to make pasta. One of the girls is gluten-free, so um, we're gonna have to see what happens. I don't know. I've made regular pasta plenty of times, but not gluten-free pasta. So she's bringing some uh, flour with her and then I've got the rest of the ingredients and we'll see what happens. So I'll let you know. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna deal with the computer. It doesn't wanna open a website and yeah, I'll be back.
So anyway, it's been a good week. It was a good day. I hope that you all are doing what you can to enjoy uh, whatever it is you celebrate for the month of December, um, whether it's Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever it is, have a happy one, even if it's with you know, a very small bubble of people. We usually have 20 people or more here or we go somewhere else where there is that many people. So to just have a few people is weird, but you know what, we made the best of it. And, and um, you know, we'll just make it work right now. And at some point, hopefully we can get back to normal and we'll see what happens. There's dirt or something on the rug. Sorry, distracted. Um, so I hope that you're able to do the same and if it's just the two of you and you don't have a bubble, maybe you can Zoom with friends uh, from around the world and have a, a holiday event that way. That would be fun. We've done that uh, for Thanksgiving, which was great. So anyway, whatever you do and however you do it, please do it safely. Please um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Have a happy one, whatever it is. And we will see you next week. Bye, guys.